Hey guys, what's up? It's GMT and welcome to another milestone video. A milestone that I didn't think we're going to hit in such a fast-paced time. We, we're at 2,000 subscribers now. 2,000 of you guys. That is such a big difference for me compared from 1 to 2. It's like, wow, there's actually like a thousand more it's crazy it's really crazy since we actually like hit this milestone so fast i didn't know what to exactly do because in the first milestone video that i did if you guys have seen that when we hit 1k which was huge by the way i showed some like past videos that i did from like you know my first video on youtube to now it was like a little montage of uh videos and stuff like that that showed the progress throughout the entire youtube journey because it was like a whole six months then we went from 1k to 2k in like a month or two and that is i'm so speechless <laughs> the numbers just keep growing and i thought it was going to take like another uh long period of time to go ahead and actually reach this but here we are i don't like it when people say thank you okay like it's it's so weird just saying that because like oh thanks guys all right now let's move on it's like no it's <laughs> it you guys play a huge role in me wanting to go ahead and actually create more of these videos and you guys showing your involvement as well that also puts a boost in like, wow, okay, they actually want to go ahead and, and see more of what we got. So I really didn't know what to go ahead and actually make for this 2K thing. We can't really do a montage because uh, I don't have enough videos to go ahead and actually just throw something together. That would be a reasonable long time for you guys to go ahead and look at. So I uh, asked the crew and they gave me the suggestion to go ahead and, and do a Q&A. And I thought that was interesting. I'm like, okay, maybe there are actually some people out there who want to go ahead and know more about me or just know stuff about um youtube or video editing in, in general so i think that's what we're gonna go ahead and do so guys welcome to the 2k q a i went ahead and had some of you guys post some comments that you guys would want to ask me as questions in the community post i did yesterday and we're gonna go ahead and answer most of those okay in in this video so let's go ahead and get started this may be a little bit longer type of video um but hopefully that's all right because we're going to be answering some questions and i don't know how long or in depth i'm actually going to go ahead and get into it but uh let's start her off so the first question here is from red shadow plays and he says what's the reason why you started to be a youtuber and how did you success <laughs> also congrats hey thanks man we're at 2k man let's go <laughs> the main reason that I really wanted to go ahead. I won't really call myself a YouTuber. A lot of people call me that. They're like, oh my gosh, you know, sometimes I join Survive the Night lobbies and they're like, wait a second, are you a YouTuber? I'm like, no, <laughs> I'm just a guy that's creating videos, you know, stuff like that. I wouldn't call my, I wouldn't give myself that title yet. But I guess if we are going to give myself that title, which is awesome, the main reason is just because I have like a huge passion to do this stuff. You know, I love content creation. I love video editing. I want to go ahead and actually make it a future job. I went to college for a little bit to do graphic designing, which was, it was all right, but I'd rather have gone for something in the video production field, something like that about movies and arts or drama and arts and stuff like that. But I never eventually did. And I just kind of went out to the workforce rather than complete college. So um, it's the main reason is because I love to do this stuff. All right. I love to do this stuff. And I love having a community behind you to go ahead and show support and interest in and something that you like to do. So I think that's the main reason why I wanted to become a YouTuber. And how did we success? Uh, I think the number one main thing is dedication, okay? I say this all the time to, I get some people, my DMs all the time, they're like, hey, I wanna go ahead and start making videos and stuff like that. Like, do you have any tips for me and stuff like that? Guys, if you wanna go ahead and try to do, or try to be in my shoes, or try to get yourself up there at some point in time, dedication is key you got to go ahead and and love what you do okay don't force videos out trust me it's going to be very boring and you're going to lose interest like right away you're not going to want to continue to do this because youtube does take time if you actually go ahead and put in the quality and production into a video it's it can be very time consuming like you got to go ahead and actually love what you're doing so i think the major success is just dedication and also interacting with uh fans or just people in the comments as well uh, let them know that you care that they are there. You know what I mean? So I think that answers that. <laughs> the next question is from, I'm just going to call you THU because I'm sorry. I would butcher that name so bad. It looks like your name is Sunny Hot Dog. So we'll call you that. <laughs> what are your plans for the future of this channel? He's very curious. And thank you for the uh, 2K congrats. <laughs> what are my plans for the future of this channel? Um... I, I will tell you right now, okay, Survive the Night is not always going to be something I'm going to be doing, I think. I'm going to try to expand, reach different uh, categories of games, and just horror. Horror in general. I love playing horror games. I like scary games. Um, 
I, I will definitely stick with Roblox for a while because that's kind of what built me. But if we ever do get into other content that people enjoy, I'll try to poke videos out here and there just to see and test, you know, how do people actually like this? And maybe we'll expand into some stuff on Steam in the future or anything like that. But um, it's not always going to be Survive the Night. Of course, if Survive the Night is still a game that, you know, is being updated and all that stuff, I'm, I'm going to stick with it. Okay, 100%. I love the game a lot. Survive the Night is a game that I haven't got bored of yet, and I put quite a bit of time into it. But um, it's not going to be here forever, right? Um, we'll definitely try out other games and, and see how that goes for us. But um, I also love taking recommendations from you guys as well. Like if there's anything you guys want to see me play or just um, go ahead and try out, then yeah, 100%, I'm on board with it. I do try to read everyone's comments on videos. So I, I do see what you guys are saying all the time. I've seen some suggestions in there before, so I do appreciate that. I'm just letting you know that I am writing that down. So I am taking it into consideration. So thank you guys for that. But yeah, I think those are the uh, future plans for the uh, channel. Mr. Sunny Hot Dog. The next question here is from Alexi. Is I say Alexi Alexi? So his first one is, who were your favorite YouTubers? Is this going to be like all time or like growing up and stuff like that? I think we'll go ahead and, and go with the growing up because I still kind of watch him to this day. So growing up watching YouTube, um, I think the first time I really got invested into a YouTuber was PewDiePie when he went ahead and started his Amnesia series, the Amnesia horror game. I used to watch him do that all the time. Then that kind of got me introduced with Markiplier. I think the first time I watched him was when he played Slenderman, The Forest, that game. I think I watched him play that. Other than that, I've kind of just been watching random YouTubers all over YouTube, um, watching them play horror games and seeing how they react and stuff like that, because I just love that type. I love those types of videos. But uh, my favorite YouTuber to this day is uh, definitely Corey Kenshin. Okay, I take a lot from him. I could watch him every day. Okay, it, it really sucked how he went ahead and like had long breaks for those who do watch Corey Kenshin. You know, you guys know Spooky Scary Sunday, all that. Ah, Yeah, I, I watch every single video and I, I like them all. Make sure you guys Samurai Slice that like button, boys. But every time you post a video, I mean, I'm watching it right away. His channel not only like supports me in a way to make me happy, right? But it's like, if I am ever in a mood or something like that, like I go on the bed, relax, and, and watch some Corey Kenshin, and it really, it's like a stress reliever, okay? So it, it does help me. I think it does help me emotionally, and it's, uh, I think it's awesome to, that I found something that can help relieve something like that, because sometimes days can be tough, and you know, we're all human, so we all have those days, but um, as long as you guys find that one thing that makes you happy, uh, I'd say stick with it, and for me, a part of that is watching Corey Kenshin, so he, yeah, he's one of my favorite YouTubers. Any favorite games besides Survive the Night? Um, yeah, I actually have quite a bit of games, actually. Um, I, I play GTA 5 quite a bit on the computer. I play that quite a bit. I used to play it on the PlayStation 3, then it moved to PlayStation 4, and now I play it on PC. I mean, that game's fun, just to chill and hang out and stuff like that. Other games that I really got addicted to, and I actually started up another YouTube channel that not a lot of people know about. Um, I went ahead and played a lot of Fortnite and Call of Duty. I used to play those all the time. I started Fortnite in the Season 0, and then I kind of stopped around Season 5. It started to get a little bit boring. Call of Duty, I mean, I still play that to this day. The first Call of Duty I played was Modern Warfare 3. That was the first one I played. I was on the Wii, but then my friends... He got a new PlayStation 3, so he gave me his old one, and that's when we started to play, you know, Black Ops 1 together, Black Ops 2, uh, Zombies, all that, all the good times. Yeah, definitely Call of Duty is is high up on there, on that list. What or who brought you to survive the night? Uh, you know what's interesting? <laughs> so I used to have this other friend group uh, that we used to play all the time, but uh, I don't really talk to them anymore. We were just randomly trying to find games to play one day on Roblox, because we were insanely bored, I think it was, and we just found Survive the Night, and we, we hopped in. The one thing that got us, like, instantly hooked, like, it was just insanely funny, was <laughs> the uh, the taunts in the game. Oh, I thought they were so funny. So I actually got addicted to the game, like, right away. Uh, just with the taunts, I went ahead and spent a lot of points in Robux just to go ahead and get every single taunt in the game because I thought they were so fun to use. But then they all kind of got bored. They kind of left and didn't play Survive the Night. But I'm like, no, I, I actually like this. Like, I'm going to go ahead and actually play this game now. I think I went on YouTube, go ahead and see what was popping for Survive the Night. And I've, I was seeing, like, gameplays and just people playing the game and stuff like that. It's like, no, I there's no one out there who actually goes in depth with uh, updates or funny videos for the game or anything like that so i'm like dude i think i could totally go ahead and actually hit this topic uh and so i did i took it up and now we are here celebrating 2k couldn't have done it without you guys 100 percent. i'm glad that you enjoy what i'm doing stumbling upon the game that's what brought me to survive the night <laughs> next question here is from sophia she says 
What games do you play aside from horror games? Congrats on 2K. Thank you much. I think I kind of covered this with uh, with Alexi's question. Definitely first person shooters. If it's not a horror game that I'm playing, because I mean, horror is my life, dude. I, I watch horror movies or horror shows on Netflix all the time, Hulu, and like on YouTube even watching Corey Kenshin. I love horror. But if I if it's nothing to do with horror, definitely first person shooter games. I love playing that Call of Duty, like I said before. So yeah, that would definitely answer your question there, Sophia. And the next question we have here is from Keys. Your name reminds me of Cheese, and I think I've actually played Roblox before with you, and you're dressed as Cheese. We're gonna call you Cheese, okay? Congrats on 2K subs. It's a big number higher than my IQ. All right. <laughs> Thank you much, man. What's your first game you ever played on Roblox? And it's funny because I do remember this exact moment. Um, I actually started Roblox in 2010, late 2010, right? We used to go ahead and after school, during grade school, we'd go to the library and they had computers there because I didn't have a computer or anything. They had public computers there. So we'd sign off on the list to go ahead and just play Roblox on these computers. And I didn't know how to make an account back then. Um, so I just played as a guest. That's when they had guests back in Roblox. But um, after playing on a guest for so long, one of my friends, I mean, I the friend group that I have now today and like IRL, I mean, they are the, the bomb. Okay, I still talk to them this day and they've been there since grade five, grade four, when I eventually moved to that town and, and met them. They said like, yo, you should totally go ahead and create an account because you can get these items and stuff like that. You can get 10 tickets a day. That's when tickets was a currency. Um, so I'm like, okay, yeah. So I made an account, called it Tinker the Man. Don't ask me why. I was like, my Roblox account is 2011 in like August or something like that. I really don't remember, but somewhere in 2011. And the first game I ever played on Roblox was uh, Treehouse Tycoon. That's when tycoon games were super popular. Uh, Freeze Tag, Survive the Disasters, Sword Fights on the Heights, Underground War, like all these old Roblox games were very popular in Roblox. And since tycoons were booming, uh, I played a treehouse tycoon game that's that's i remember that being the first game i've ever played on roblox and it was so fun what am i going to do a face reveal i i don't really want to do a face reveal um i kind of want to be a faceless tuber you know what i mean i really don't want to do a face reveal at any point on, on this journey and the last question here is except entertaining people what's my other goal oh wow that is actually a very tough question because one thing i love to do on here is just trying to give people you know what what they'd like to see i really like to uh, have people go ahead and and express themselves to me like saying hey this is this is awesome do more that kind of pushes me to go ahead and actually make other content as well it's really hard to come up with like the other goal in mind because that is kind of blindsiding me right now i think the one goal i have is just to go ahead and and be invested into this channel to go ahead and, and continue to do what i want to do and it may not seem like a big goal to others but to me i feel like that's going to be super important i'm going to keep trying to go ahead and achieve this goal i think that answers your question there cheese rampage the monster well done yes sir thank you much when is the face reveal no <laughs> if you made survive the night what would you change or add i get this question asked like all the time when i was live streaming people were asking like hey what if you were the owner of survive the night like what would you do you know what, dude, I don't know. I really have no idea what I would change or add. And I'm actually kind of glad that I'm not the owner because uh, being the owner of a game that does really well in Roblox, a lot of people don't know, but that is super time consuming. I mean, you're constantly working on the game, trying to revamp it, make it better, trying to work on ideas for the future. Like that'd be super stressy, I feel like. So uh, props to Survive the Night crew okay so props to props to the dev team you guys work really hard to go ahead and actually bring updates every week so uh yeah props to them if i was the owner what would i change your ad I, I i really don't know that is such a tough question to kind of ask on the spot i feel like what is my favorite squid game character oh boy <laughs> i think a lot of people like this squid game character that i'm about to mention i like uh i think it's pronounced like sai bayok she was the girl oh my gosh wait you know what? I'm not going to go ahead and actually spoil it. <laughs> I was just about to say something, but I'm not going to go ahead and spoil it for the people who haven't seen Squid Games before. But that's definitely one of my most favorite characters, I think. Uh, Sai Boyok from uh, Squid Games. And if it's not that, it's definitely Ali, bro. We got to go with the Ali crew. We got any Ali fans in here? Any? <laughs> And number four, the most important, the most important, okay, most important question is Venom cool? Uh, yeah, sure. I think Venom's cool. He's not really a part of that Spider-Man series that I uh, accidentally mentioned before, but um, I think he's definitely part of like that little Spider-Verse, right? I could be completely messing this up and people are going to be like, no, he's not. No, no, stop it. Yeah, Venom's pretty cool. I like the way that his character is designed for sure. Next question here is from Jacob Sob... Jacob. <laughs> Why did you pick horror games as your hobby? And why did you pick to be a YouTuber? Congrats on the subs. Thank you much, Jake. Um, I feel like we kind of answered these as well uh, towards the YouTuber 
question. I feel like we answered that. But why did I pick horror games as my hobby? I don't know. I don't know if I've like picked it as a hobby. I think it kind of just fell upon me. My entire family is like obsessed with horror. Well, some parts of my family. When I was a little kid, I remember uh, staying the night at my grandparents' house. Parents got divorced, so we went ahead and moved to this new town, and my mom didn't have, um, I don't know if she had enough money or just no plans yet to go ahead and actually get a house right away, so we just stayed with my grandparents. And I remember my aunt would always come to my grandparents' house and stay the night on the weekends, and we would stay up like very late watching ghost adventures. Uh, I, I would always fall asleep to it, <laughs> which is like crazy because my mom is, she hates horror, okay? But everyone else in my family is like, yeah, no, horror's awesome. I don't know. She was always concerned how I could just fall asleep to horror movies. <laughs> it's like, no, it's so cool. I love I love being scared for some reason. I, I just love that feeling. I don't know. I feel like horror titles and horror in general is like, and even slasher series. I love slasher series. Guys, props to the new Scream movie coming out in July. Let's go. But uh, I think it's just been a part of my life, which is why I wanted to go ahead and actually include it into this career as well. The next question here is from Bogdan. Okay, is it? Bo I feel like I've said your name before in stream and you're like, that's just not how you say it. Okay, stupid. I'm like, oh, sorry. Congrats on 1.9 subs. Thank you much, my guy. What is my favorite food? Ooh, my most favorite food ever. You guys ever had from Applebee's, it's like a chicken and macaroni and cheese, but with like a honey sauce. It's so good. So it's macaroni and cheese with honey poured onto it. And then it has like little chicken pieces mixed in it. It's so good. It reminds me of like a little pasta meal that I eat before uh, cross country races. Definitely try that out. Go Applebee's. Next question here is from Ligo. Ligo C or Ligoc. I don't know how you say it. Okay. Question. How did you get to 2K so quickly? I am wanting to ask that to someone as well. I don't know how we went ahead and like abruptly hit this milestone so fast. It was, I'd wake up in the morning go on YouTube just to check uh, about all the other channels went ahead and posted their videos and stuff like that. And I'd have like these notifications in the top right, like all the time saying like, yo, look, we're this much closer. I'm like, oh, what the heck? Did I don't even know. I really don't know how, but I think Survive the Night plays a huge role in it for sure. Um, I think that's where a lot of the people who are subscribed to me go ahead and stay subscribed because this is what, this is what most of the channel is about. So uh, I think that plays a part in it. But yeah, other than that, I, I don't know. Next question here is from Zangal. What inspired you to make YouTube channel and videos? And then congrats for the 2K. Thank you much. <laughs> Thank you guys all for the uh, congrats and stuff like that. Very cool to see. Uh, I feel like we answered this as well. I think there's a lot of repeated questions on here. I'll go ahead and say it again for sure. I think it's just because I have a huge interest in it, right? I think it's something that I just want to go ahead and and do. I wanted to make it a like a job. That's why I went to college somewhat for it, or I kind of wanted to go to college for it. But now I, I'm going to try to turn it from a hobby into a job. Hopefully that answers your question. And if it didn't, I definitely answered it in, in the questions beforehand. Next question here is from Dark Acebra. He says, what is your favorite horror game that's not a Roblox horror game? Definitely think my most favorite, and I'm not going to say horror game. This is more of a horror series. But uh, Resident Evil, I really enjoyed actually playing those games. There's a lot of horror games that I've played before that are just like, it's just a one titled game. You know, you just play the game, you beat the game like pretty quickly because you just get scared or killed or whatever. And then it's kind of over with. Um, but like one of the series that actually stuck out to me a lot was Resident Evil. And Resident Evil and Outlast, like Outlast as well, those games were, were pretty scary and I enjoyed playing them quite a bit. But yeah, definitely the Resident Evil series for sure. What game do you play when you're bored? 100% GTA 5 or Balloons Tower Defense 6. Let's go boys, monkeys popping balloons, that's how we do it. And then congrats on the 2K, you are amazing. No, you are amazing. Thank you much though. <laughs> the next question here is from Dada Dank. Is that how you say it? Should I just call you Dank? Do you enjoy making content for YouTube? 100%. Oh, I love it so much. I could sit there for eight hours in a day, or I could sit there for 10 hours a day and just do straight video editing. Like I, I love doing it so much and I don't think I will ever get burnt out, never. I have so many plans and I got so many video title ideas to go ahead and actually create. And I'm excited to see what you guys have to say as well, if there's anything that you wanna see me do. So uh, I love doing what, what I'm doing right now. So it's, it's definitely a dream that we are making reality. And again, like 100%, because of you guys, so thank you so much. What is another game on Roblox you enjoy playing besides Survive the Night? 
it's kind of, there's not like a specific game, okay? But there are a lot of other games that I really do like to play other than Survive the Night. I used to play a lot of zombie stories. I used to play a lot of that. Horror games on Roblox. Like I play horror games all the time on Roblox just by myself or with or with a the crew. There's a lot of squid game stuff going out right now. The game called Isle, that was that's super fun. There's just a lot of games that I play on Roblox that I like. I don't spend as much time as I do with Survive the Night as of right now. But yeah, I kind of just been joining games all over the place and, and playing those. And lastly, do you think you will be making updated tier lists for the items in Survive the Night? Here's the thing. Like, doing videos with tier lists or doing videos like, hey, this is all the breathing perks. One thing that's very hard to go ahead and and try to keep up with is all of the updates that happen and how that drastically changes these tier list videos that I do that I put a lot of time into and it kind of just makes them you know irrelevant. I got a tier list video that was made on the slashers a while ago and and now since that video has been out there's been like an additional two two to three slashers that have come out. Then you got to go ahead and like kind of do everything over again especially with these breathing perk tier videos as well or whatever it is uh right after i uploaded that breathing perk video the last one i did i mean they just dropped an update and then i had to go ahead and actually make another one i never eventually did because this is the mindset that i was starting to go ahead and actually grab if you guys really want to go ahead and see me do more tier list videos then yeah definitely go ahead uh let me know because i will definitely go ahead and do those it's just really hard to because stuff gets changed all the time but if that's what's supposed to happen you know then i gotta stick up with it that's just how we gotta do that's how we roll the next question here is from Blacklight. He says, when did I join Roblox? I, I sort of joined 2011 is when I formally made an account, but I joined uh, very late 2010. What is your favorite gear in Survive the Night? Right now, I'm really loving, like I feel super confident using the Merch's Night Vision with the infrasound sensor. I feel super confident in using that. Like I can actually go ahead and win every single round, I feel like. So uh, that's definitely my most favorite gear right now and perk combined. And then what is my most favorited item in the Roblox Avatar Shop? Ooh, and I'm wearing this item right now. Can you guys guess what it is? You wanna pause the video and try to guess what my most favorite item is on Roblox that's on my character right now? My most favorite item in Roblox are my headphones, I'm, the ones I'm wearing right now. I love the work clock headphones. I got those uh, a very long time ago. I wanna say I got these in 2015 or something like that. I was gonna go ahead and get the shades as well, but um, back then that was just me saving like Christmas money and stuff like that, going ahead and actually affording to get these items by myself without my, my parents doing any kind of support because we really couldn't go ahead and, and do something like that. Uh, so I, I stuck with the headphones. And since that's how I got them, and that's kind of what it resembles something. I'm like, you know what? We're definitely going to throw these on my avatar and try to make it an icon. Next question here is from Dripman. And he says, why did you quit your other channel? So my other channel, like we talked about before, that dealt with Fortnite and Call of Duty and um, all of those games that I played on the PlayStation. I worked on this channel like all throughout high school, pretty much, uh, trying to go ahead and actually create something. So it was a good solid like four years of doing videos and... I, I hit about 410 subscribers, so it really wasn't working out too much. I was putting a lot of time into it, and I didn't think I was going to get anywhere with it, so I kind of just gave up on it, which kind of sucks because I still wanted to go ahead and make videos. Even though I was doing four years of videos and not really gaining attention, I, I still wanted to make videos. That may be crazy to some people, but to me, that's like that's just my passion for wanting to do this. That That is the reason why I quit, pretty much. And do you have any plans on your current channel? I think we answered this question as well. I can go ahead and put it into a nutshell, so we're pretty much just going to go ahead and uh, see what you guys want to see on the channel and for me to go ahead and keep doing what what I am doing with these uh, horror genre series and and maybe expand to just playing other horror games on Roblox or on Steam as well. As I said before, I think we did answer this in another question. So hopefully that question answered answers this question. The next question here is from Connor, and he says, do you have a favorite moment in your YouTube career so far? Uh, I, I really do. When we hit 1,000 subs on stream, it was very... It was very cool to see, like, because I didn't notice it right away. But then I looked at chat and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at, look at your count. Like, everyone's like cheering and, and saying, you know, congrats. And it was like such, such a surreal moment that, oh uh, man, I wish I could relive. It was so cool seeing people like, we hit 1K and I look over and I see the, the big four digits. That had to have been my, my most favorite moment ever. And I think that will remain as my most favorite moment ever 
uh, while we do YouTube together. Thank you guys for letting me live that moment though, for sure. The next question here is from Mr. Pigeon. What's my favorite Steam game? GTA 5, hands down, no questions asked. The next question is from Eliminator77. He says, what other games do you play besides Roblox? We already answered that. I will not keep repeating. <laughs> I feel like we've done that a lot. How old are you and where are you from? Um, I think I'm, a lot of people actually know where I'm from, right? But if you don't know, then continue to not know. <laughs> Uh, you'll find you'll figure it out. I feel like sometime in the future I don't really want to say it But I think there's a lot of people out there on the discord who actually know where I'm from which state anyway Ooh, that did I give a hint to anyone? I am from the United States and how old am I? I am currently 20 years old next question here is from no words and he says would you rather have your ankles snapped or your kneecaps destroyed? Oh my gosh, dude. 100% ankle snapped, bro. Guys, do you know how much, you know, I can't even, I was just about to say, guys, do you know how much it hurts to get your kneecaps destroyed? But it's like, I've never had that happen before. I'm pretty positive that a torture method is actually bashing your kneecaps. Like people will get a baseball bat and then they will bash a kneecap. I'm pretty sure that's a torture method and I don't think it would feel too good. Next question here is from Isaiah 2012 Games. Hey, what's up? Why did you name your channel JMT? All right, I, I was thinking we were gonna get this question. Guys, would you like to know the secrets to my YouTube channel name? JMT, without the two E's on the end, just the three letters, JMT, those are my initials. That That is actually my initials to my IRL name is JMT. I was gonna go ahead and just have my channel named JMT, just the three letters. But if you guys go ahead and search up JMT on YouTube, it's it's like uh, this whole thing about the John Murr trail or something like that. And it's like very popular. I've never even heard of it before. But if I were to go ahead and name myself JMT on YouTube and you guys would try to search my name, you would probably come up with all this John Murr trail stuff. So I'm like, you know, we can't do that. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just add two E's on the end because that still sounds like JMT, right? People still say JMT. So we'll just go ahead and do that. And that's how my name was created. Next question here is from Kuato. At Ilma, is <laughs> why I'm trying to like change my accent to see if like I could formally pronounce it that way. I'm so weird sometimes. What made you choose that name for your channel? Oh, well, we went ahead and answered that just now, literally. <laughs> Next question here is from Vu, Vau, Vau, try it. Guys, you have some of the weirdest names, I swear to God. Who is your best friend? I don't think I have just one best friend or like best friends in, in at all. Normally when I'm with someone IRL, it's with a friend group. I don't tend to just hang out with a, with a person all the time. So I think it's more of like a best friends. Um, definitely be the group that I hang out with IRL for sure. They're the real ones. I've known them since I was little. So next question here is from Otis Hector 76. How to be best YouTuber? I'm going to say it like I said in the other question. I think it was like one of the first questions we ever answered. Otis, if you want to go ahead and become a YouTuber, bro, dedication, my guy, dedication is key. Look, okay, here's some words of wisdom from JMT, all right? We, we tend to have these little discussions once in a while, but here's some more, okay? Words of wisdom from JMT. Everyone buckle down, all right? Turn up the volume. Here we go. When you do YouTube, it is not always going to work out. You could, like I, like I said before, I did YouTube for four years all throughout high school, and I only got to 410 subs and I averaged like 20 to 50 views a video and I continue to do it. Dedication. You're not going to always like the numbers. You're not always going to hit your goal right away. You could be doing YouTube for six months to a year and not be at where you want to be at. But the most important thing is that you don't let that destroy what you want to become. You got to go ahead and prove yourself. You got to show that this isn't game over. I'm still going to work towards it. I don't care how long it takes. Guys, this is six years, seven years down the road from since I wanted to start YouTube. And now here I am. I mean, we're at 2K. That is such a huge number to me. So definitely dedication. Otis, go ahead and, and show the world that you really want to go ahead and, and make this an opportunity. Next question here is from, this is Scar, I'm pretty sure. This is Scar, right? Is that how you say it? A foo foo? That just sounds like a pet name. Come on. <laughs> Sorry for roasting you. <laughs> Why did I start playing Roblox? Um, I started playing Roblox because my friends actually went ahead and suggested the game to me. When I moved to this new town, um, it's not the town I'm currently at right now. I live by myself in a house. Um, yeah, I know guys, I'm 20 years old and I'm working and I have my own. It's crazy. <laughs> it's life is crazy. When we moved to the new city from when my parents got divorced, I didn't really have a lot of friends. Like I didn't know anyone at all. So um, I really didn't have a PC either or like a console. Like, I mean, I'd go home and 
I think I had a Nintendo DS and I had like Pokemon or something. So I just play on that just to do something in my spare time. But when I eventually started to go ahead and actually make friends at this new school, they were talking about like Roblox or Adventure Quest Worlds. That was another game that people like to play. Roblox. I'm like, what is Roblox? I saw them kind of play it. I'm like, okay, yeah, this actually looks pretty fun, interesting. Let me give it a try. And I got hooked. Like Roblox has been a part of my life since then. Um, I haven't always been playing it all the time. You know, I've had some times where I went ahead and took breaks, like a year or two break from Roblox, but I've always came back to it. So uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's how I started playing Roblox. And the final question here we have is from Epic Sponge 9 and he says, what do you? Your mother, that's what I do. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> what do you? I don't know how to... <laughs> I'm still laughing at that. I don't know how to answer that, but um, how about you do what? How, how about that? So anyways, guys, that was the whole Q&A. This will be a very long video. If you guys have made it this far in the video, like if you have watched all of it and you've made it this far, I want you to go down into the comment section right now and type in family man. That's all I want you to go ahead and type in. Uh, type in family man that's gonna let me know who actually went ahead and and watched the whole Q&A and you guys are real ones for that so I, I appreciate you and I also appreciate everyone else who has been supporting the channel and to actually help it reach 2k another milestone I, I'm very bad at trying to go ahead and put feelings into words sometimes um, I think everyone is at some point in their life right it's it's very epic is what I can say very awesome very epic and I am 100% glad that I have you guys here along the way to kind of build up and grow on YouTube. So um, again, thank you guys for that. I appreciate you so much. Keep doing what you guys do. My name's JMT, guys. That's going to be it for me, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everyone.